Well, happier days now as uh, we begin the new academic year in 2023. But of course, still some um, business from last year that needs to be taken care of. Something like the results. And of course, the Independent Examination Board Matric Class of 2022, uh, they've achieved a pass rate of 98.42%. Now, the IEB results were released at midnight and it saw over and an 89 percent of the pupils actually qualify for further studies at university level and joining us in studio right now to celebrate our brothers Armand and Roald Carstens from Stenstidians Boys College and they are the IEB's top achievers for last awesome. year thank you so much for joining us and a huge congratulations to the both of you and to your parents, and of course to your school. But thanks for joining us. Thanks for Thank having so us. Much. Thanks for so having us. it's Armand in the white jacket, and it's rolled in the blue jacket. Yes. So firstly, I mean, were you expecting these results, Armand? Um, I always felt good after the exams. Like there wasn't really an exam where I came out having thought it was a hard exam. But I don't know. I, I like. I feel really good. Like I'm really happy about the results. Um, I did expect to do well, but maybe not like this. So, um, Roald, just how well did you guys do? Um, so we both, we tied actually, so we both got an average of 90.85, so we round up to 91 of course. But yeah, so we, we're really happy with mm. that, so we, mm. we did really well. So what was interesting, um, just speaking off air, uh, the boys are talking about percentage points, you know, like in terms of the averages. But I've also noticed that the two of you are so close. You know, I asked a question and you guys would respond as we, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and let's talk about that. How, how did you guys support each other, uh, you know, in the lead up to your exams and of course throughout the exam period as well? Okay. Um, well, it's kind of, we study the same, the same way. So if I, ha if I was stuck with something, I'd, his room is just next to mine, so I'll just go speak to him. Like after class or whatever, we'll go to the teachers um, together, speak to them together. And it's just like nice because um, in the subjects that he's better at, I'll go ask for help. Well, whereas the subjects that I'm better at, then he'll just come to me. So it was pretty cool. So Roald, which are your stronger subjects and which are Armand's stronger subjects? Um, so my strongest subjects are uh, probably maths, bio and Afrikaans um, and then where he's got like English and yeah. those sort of subjects I, so I, then we just... I prefer the creative side of Yeah, of so things. we just bounce off each other mm. and it works well. Interesting. So did you guys actually set out to achieve the exact same <laughs> result? <laughs> Was that something that you planned? No way, it's like, no. I think we just tried to do as well as we could and then it just worked out like that. Like, I guess the world didn't want us to, to beat each other, so. <laughs> yeah, we've been in competition since we were young. So it's actually quite poetic that mm. we, we tied and got the exact so same average. So there is healthy competition among the oh, brothers. Yes, of There's course. so much competition. Never let the other forget it if we yeah, beat them. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. So, so, so if one got, uh, um, uh, you know, 0.1% less than the other, how mm. does that play out in the cast no, so household? He just, like, usually, usually he beats me in, in like most of the tests. So then you'll come to me and like just laugh at the question that I got wrong or, or like he'll just, <laughs> let, he wouldn't let me forget it for the whole day and then yeah. he'll chill afterwards. And, 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 and you obviously the one who was, the loser on that occasion you set out to rectify things oh, of course of course i couldn't let him beat me again so. but then he always had me up on, on the sports side so he'd play first team and i'd play second team and then he'd also yeah just a little bit of teasing there i wouldn't let him forget it oh, so there's sport in this as well yeah. and then and, and how important is that because you know we always talk about holistic development mm -hmm. and when one sees a learners achieving um, a se a seven and eight distinctions you actually wonder you know often how well-rounded this learner this individual actually is so good to know that you know there's sport in there mm -hmm. but how important is that for you guys um i think it's actually really important keeping active is really good for the brain but also just provides a distraction and a chance to have fun which takes your mind off school and then when you go back to school you feel refreshed and ready to work again and it, it really helps a yeah. lot so obviously secondary to the academics though i was always um 
like when I was in the younger grades, I put my sports ahead um, of, of my academics. But then, like, I don't know, when you get older, you become a bit more realistic. And it's a bit hard to make like your, the sport like your goal one day to, to play professional sports. So once I had a talk with my mom, like I realized that academics is actually the way to go. So then you started to focus on that. So I always, you know, as, as, as a mom who's been there, um, you realize that it's not just the children who yeah. are writing. The parents mm. are right there with you. So let's talk about mom and dad and, you know, the support. They are here. Mm. They are outside watching. <laughs> and, you know, how important were they in your achievement um, in achieving the seven and eight uh, distinctions respectively, Roald? Um, I mean, they've been really supportive um, throughout our whole school career. They've been pushing us since we were really young. And then they even said to us in these final exams, like, they don't have to ask us to study or to do anything to try and do well for ourselves because we'll go and do that ourselves. But it's because they laid the foundation for that. Mm. Um, we started Kumon when we were really young. And then in the prep especially, she'd push it and tell us to work hard so that we can lay the foundation for the further grades and metric eventually. So now we're thinking ahead. Uh, where to next? What do we want to study? <laughs> Is it the same thing? And where do we want to go? Um, so we, we both really want to stay together. We would love to study medicine. Um, we've had conditional offers from a few universities, um, but we just have to wait and see from like UCT or WITS or the other unis where like whether we get final acceptance or not. What's the preference, Roald? Um, honestly, any of the unis are, are really good. There must be one that, you know, you, you kind of really hope that that would be it. Um, a lot of it also does depend if we, we both get in um, and the final offers, of course. Um, I'm leaning a little bit towards the WITS or UCT because they're but really good universities. Yeah. Hopefully UCT, we'll see. So hopefully UCT, but uh, uh, you said something quite interesting, provided both of you yes, yeah. we are accepted. So if, obviously it seems as though UCT um, would be the preference, uh, but if you don't, uh, if both of you don't get in, then you'd rather go to a university that will take both of you. Um, we would love to study together, but I mean, Whichever university, like when one's not going to hold the other, ch the other um, brother back. So I mean, if like it's his dream to study at WITS or wherever or UCT, and like let's say for example I get in at another university, like I don't want him to lose his dream because of me. And I'm sure the same for him. He doesn't want me to to stifle my future because of him. But you guys must have thought about how tough that's going to be. I mean. You've been together, you know, from the womb and yeah. all throughout <laughs> your lives. And, and, and you know, I, I, have you thought about how it would possibly be if you were to be separated at this stage? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the most we've ever been apart from each other is about like, I think, three weeks. And that was like forced upon us. Um, I think being alone would have like many benefits and whatnot, but I, th I know more like I would struggle with not having my brother there because it's just nice like even though we don't like when we're at home we don't spend a lot of like time together per se but like it's just nice knowing that he's in the room next to me or like I can just go speak to him whenever I want to or that he can just help me or just like knowing that he's there like it will be quite tough I think. That's so precious you know th that's so beautiful but do you guys do you fight at all? Oh do we do. <laughs> It's not a sibling relationship if you, if you don't fight. But um, normally if we fight, it's, we fight for that little bit and then we'll walk into the other one's room in 10 minutes and it'll be really yeah. calm again and we'll have a good relationship. So those three weeks that you were apart, uh, care to share with us or, or, or what um, uh, necessitated Kamorka. that? It was in grade nine at Saints. They have this camp called Kamorka. It's a three-week camp to... Uh, can't actually remember the place now, but um, it's like without phones or any like communication. Um, and then I, we were actually in the same house, so we were meant to go together. Mm -hmm. 
but then I dislocated my shoulder playing rugby. So then I had to miss the camp we were supposed to go on, so I went on the next one. So then he spent three weeks away on his camp, and then I spent the next three weeks away on my camp. So then it overlapped, and then we spent quite a long time away from each other. Oh, yeah. It must have been agony. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. The first few days are always a nice break, but then once it goes on, you realize how much you actually miss him. Mm. So, uh, you know, just uh, uh, looking back now at, at the examinations, and it's obviously 12 years of mm. preparation, essentially, to get to this um, final exit point at your uh, basic schooling level. What advice would you have for matriculants of 2023 who wish to do well, you know, who would mm. want to achieve um, however many distinctions they can muster? Yeah. Uh, you know, what advice would you give to them uh, in preparation for the final exam? I think one of the biggest things is working consistently throughout the year. Um, many matrics say, oh, I'm going to start working before prelims and then I'll do well in prelims or before finals. And then they don't do as well as they wanted. Um, when you work consistently throughout the year, the studying that you do for each test eventually adds up. So when you get to the final exams, you, you feel more confident about the work and when you write the paper you feel more confident. So working throughout the year is a really big thing. And then uh, advice that I've been given that uh, really helped me, like because I'm quite a competitive person, is just to focus on, on your results, for, stay in your lane, don't worry about what others are achieving. Um, like I always used to compare myself to my brother but um, I just got the advice to stay in my lane, focus on your end goal where you want to go, whether it's getting into medicine or engineering or BCom or whatever it is, just stay in your lane, focus on yourself. That is such sage advice from the both of you. And, you know, as you say, Armand, you are so competitive, mm. but you look so chilled. Like, <laughs> you know, it, it, it really is beautiful. But, um, you know, good luck. Thanks uh, to both of you for stopping by and sharing your story with us. Thank and uh, please keep us posted as to uh, which university you ultimately end up at. And um, I'm going to hold thumbs okay. and hope that you guys end up at the same institution. Thank so, you so thank much. you so much for stopping by. Thank, thank, thank you so for, having for having us. Having us. And you. what a beautiful, beautiful story. Armand and Roald Carstens from Synstidian's Bo Boys College. And they are, of course, the top IEB achievers for 2022. And what a beautiful story. And, you know, what wonderful young men they are. So uh, just uh, hoping to be updated as to where they ultimately end up.